Okay, welcome back. We're back with another one. Ah, oh, yes, another one. This is your gamer, your host, the old white suburbanite, Chigiri Chizek One, Old King Chizek, and you are watching the Vitality playthrough of the PS3 version of Demon Souls. I am playing this game, uh, leveling up the Vitality stat only, as you can see, with that beautiful health bar going through half of the screen above me. I am something like level 60 or 61, let's check. Uh, where am I? This is not, yeah, there we go, Vitality, 61, look at that. Nothing else has even been touched. And that's the way we're doing it for the entirety of the playthrough. I'm also keeping the exact same set that I got a character creation, so we have the Thief set. And I'm playing the whole game with the dagger only, the buckler, and the short bow. Which, well, you can see the arrows behind me. There they are. I'm also, um, I am equipping the Adjudicator Shield in my second slot for uh, regeneration purposes. Also got the Regenerator's Ring, it's a good combo. And that's about it, right? Um, in Demon Souls, you can't level up the armor only your weapons. I've already leveled up the short bow, the dagger, and my buckler to plus 10. No fancy stuff, just hardstone and sharpstone all the way to the max. And that is how we're playing the game. A couple of other things. It was supposed to be a no death run. That was the hope. Uh, and that hope has been severely diminished with a death at Stonefang Mine because yours truly does not know how physics works in jumps. Not on this game anyways. Um, or, to be more fair, he completely forgot. And also, I decided to be a little saucy, just, just, a, ta just a tad spicy, and try some risky new stuff and got my, my, got my ass handed to me by the, uh, by the mechanical uh, arrow shooting device that guards the, uh, uh, that guards the entrance to the fool's idol. So I thought I could get past that, had enough health, and it, um, it taught me otherwise. It taught me otherwise, it really did and I am very sorry. But I went back and check out the last video because I managed to get past it with properly timed rolls. So I am uh, not sorry, sorry, not sorry. Two, de two deaths, but that's okay. It's from exploration more than anything else. That and being incredibly fucking dumb and just rolling off a cliff. Um, only thing I'm leaving out is that, uh, what am I leaving out? Yes, we're talking to all NPCs each time we uh, do something semi-significant, each time we come back to this area, because I want to exhaust all of their dialogues, see what else they say. And um, finally, I am trying to parry any and every single parryable enemy that's out there. See if we can uh, parry even the unexpected. So, uh, We've parried the fat officials. We've parried scale miners who just try to punch you. We've parried uh, spear knights, spear holders. We've done good. We've done good. Um, but it is a comedy of errors, and sometimes I will miss ten times in a row before I get the parry, so... Uh, you are not looking at a savant when it comes to this game, even though I have been playing it on and on, on and off, for years. <laughs> On and on and on and on for years. Okay. It's simple. A trade with your soul. Time to. Well, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna go back to Latria? We need to rescue Sage Freak. We already got past the Fool's Idol, but I didn't rescue him. Um, and we need him because we need to unlock dialogue. It's not that we're gonna get any of his items, just need to unlock dialogue. No, not that. That's all new. I mean, that's you come all back alive. the opposite of new. That's not new. 
You know, one thing I haven't done is excuse this little foray upstairs. But I don't know if the monumental has additional dialogue. I mean, he or she or whatever that little dude is. I think he gives the friends ring or something, which is an is a ring for online play, I believe. I've never I've never used it. I don't think I've ever gotten it from him. I just know that he gives it. Which means that at some point I should be able to speak to him and unlock more dialogue than what he told me. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Then we spread the however, man's memory the monumentals perished, and the short sighted. No, that's not new. I don't believe that was new. Have you received assistance from the Candle Maiden? Ooh, ooh, okay. She is a prisoner of this nexus. It is her duty to lull the old one back to slumber. That is why she helps those who hunt demons. Okay. Okay. And that is why she has become a demon herself. Ooh. A soul is the essence with which living things comprehend the world around them. When one loses the soul, one loses the mind. And a land barren of souls is absorbed by fog and banished to the infinite darkness. The old one is the bottomless pit of nothingness with an insatiable appetite for the souls collected by its faithful demons. Mm. The old one's very nature cannot be fathomed by the living. Mm. I'm getting real dualism vibes here from demon souls. The corporeal flesh can rot away and the soul remains and the soul is your mind which means your consciousness. So it, it definitely isn't um, a naturalistic view. Well, obviously, I mean, it's a fantasy video game, but uh, the philosophy of the concept, I think, is rooted in dualism, where um, you do have something in the beyond. I mean, that is what the, what the um, philosophy or the belief system states, that, that the mind and the body are separate and that the mind does somehow survive physical death but um, uh, well let's let me leave my own personal politics out of it let's just say that that's what I'm understanding out of um, out of the monumentals little um, um, uh, that the little soliloquy he went to well it can't be a soliloquy Patrick because like I'm standing right next to him uh, every everything everybody says in this is a soliloquy because you don't actually respond back. So there. The old one is the, the right, old now one. You're, now you're just repeating yourself. Okay, no friendship ring, no nothing. I really should look into what it takes to go pure white character tendency because I think that's how you unlock it. rescue Sage Freak and keep going or do we go elsewhere um, you know I'm gonna do something um, slightly unexpected I'm gonna stock up on some stuff some stuff some sticky stuff some white sticky stuff some sticky white stuff which actually is a fantastic power-up uh, especially when you have a um, uh, a tiny little dagger to work with but don't underestimate the dagger the dagger is an amazing weapon because uh, it manages to stun most enemies 
just for a few frames, just a slight stun, which is just enough to be able to hit again. So you can get many hits in succession when using the dagger. And if you have your dagger at plus 10, it has some weight behind it, which is good. And now we'll get to buff it even more. Once we do that, come here, buddy. Let's take care of you. Okay, one down. Can we take care of you? No. Okay. There we go. Some sticky white right there. Ah, second sticky white stuff. How many should we get? About five? I'll tell you what. I'll be satisfied with however many we get through this one run through him, through here. Uh, come here. Say hello. Okay. Two down. Three down. Ah, chunk. All right, you know what? I'll take care of you like this. Nothing? How dare you do this to me? There's a third sticky white. wear this slug for a little bit. Oh, I think they're going to be mighty fashionable in the future. I'm just trying to get ahead of the trend. Four sticky white. Solid. Solid. Extra sticky. Five sticky white. Look at that health bar. And with my regen, it's, I mean, you don't even have to worry about anybody killing you even with three hits, four hits. What is that, five now? It's either five or six. Ah, yes. There we go, that's gonna make the game a lot more fun to play. You know, I'm not gonna lie, there is one boss that is that I'm not really looking forward to. And it still kind of makes my butthole pucker, just a little pucker like this, like and that's the man eater. The man eater always scares me because it doesn't matter how much health you have, if you're not careful, he will knock you off the ledge. And then there's two of them, and if you don't kill one fast enough, the other one comes get you. Anyway, man eater, right? What enemies do we have in Dark Souls that are like the man eater? The gargoyles, of course, right? So the man eater is a prototype or a prequel to the gargoyles. I'm telling you, if Dark Souls did it, Demon Souls did it first.
All right. Um, let me also okay. grab, if I can. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have it, huh? Okay. I was trying to grab an arch, uh, arch stone shard, but it appears I don't have one. Um, 170 arrows. Yeah. Mm. You have a. Hmm. An arch stone shard is five thousand. Okay, time to use these then. shards and then a few more heavy arrows and I think that should cover everything so I implore you good stuff eh so let us go back Ooh. let us go back to Latria now should we rescue him Yes, yes, okay, let's rescue him. Need to unlock his dialogue. So might as well, right? No need to dilly-dally either, we can go through this fairly quickly. didn't take long at all. Um. What? Holy smokes, I passed it. I almost fell down the freaking trap. That would have been hell. Pay attention, will ya? Come on, old man Shizek. You can do this right. You don't want to talk? Hey, while you're down there. there Magnificent. I never expected to get out of there alive. My name is Freik. I am known as a sage. I thought my magic would give me an edge against these demons, but how wrong I was. Mm. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. I thank the stars that I escaped when I did. I owe you my life. Thank you for the stiletto. I have been enfeebled by my long imprisonment. But I can still move my legs, and I can make it back to the Nexus. Okay, so two things. Have you noticed, well, first of all, the prototype, right? Doing the Dark Souls, Demon Souls comparison right there. That's the prototype to uh, Big Hat Logan. Same concept, including the... Uh, uh, the desire to study this dangerous, um, unknown, mysterious, mysterious power. In this case, it's the soul arts. In um, in Dark Souls, it's um, all sorts of forbidden magic. 
So uh, you have repeating themes always, but again, like I say, if Dark Souls did it, then Demon Souls did it first. So that's the first part, but I sound like a broken record bringing it up every time. Second thing is, have you noticed that, I don't know if it's a limitation of the, the programming of the game, but every time you rescue a character, whether it's uh, Bior in the cage, whether it's Yuria up in the tower, uh, whether it's Saint Urbain um, in the pit where uh, Patches kick it, uh, kicks you, where uh, where Patches kicks you down into, uh, or whether it's Freak here in the Tower of Latria, or any others, if I'm forgetting others. Every time you free someone, they say thank you and. I'll see you at the Nexus, but I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go right now. I'm not going to disappear. Uh, they just stay where they're at, and you can't get them to move until you exit the stage, and then they magically appear in, uh, inside the Nexus, right? Uh, they could have done it like you, the character stands up or something and just disappears into a fine mist or whatever, right? You could have something like that happen. But no, they just stay there sitting, standing, in the spot that you rescued them, telling you, yeah, y you know what, I'll meet you there. I'll, I'll meet you there. So I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if, like, why they chose to do it this way, but, um, hey, uh, that's the way they chose to do it. It couldn't have been, like, a limitation they couldn't figure out, right? They probably did it as a stylistic choice. I like to think they did it as stylistic choice. They do the same thing in Dark Souls as well. Dark Souls has the uh, Firelink Shrine as the uh, central hub instead of the Nexus. So uh, everybody else tells you the same thing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll um, thank you for rescuing me. Next thing you know, you see him somewhere in Firelink just chilling. Am I going the right way? I'm not going the right way, I'm going here. This is the way I'm supposed to go. <clears throat> Left a lot of stuff here on this level. But if I was to get every single bit, this playthrough would take, I don't know, 20 hours or something. I really don't want it to take that long. I really want to make some progress, make it a bit more interesting to watch. Should be this one, right? There we go. And back to the Nexus. Chilling in my Lexus. Driving through Texas. I have some. So I am. Um. Yeah, you know, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Good stuff, eh? It's excellent stuff, Batches. Thank you. Hey, let me not run off. Let me speak to him. I just freed him. But where? I just freed Sage Freak. Let me speak to him. See if he tells me something new. Hmm. I have a proposal for you. Could you bring your demon souls to me? As I determine more about the essence of the soul, I can teach you new magic. A demon soul is no mere amalgamation of lesser souls. You have your wits about you. Surely you understand me? Let's see what spells we have. Yep. We could get a lot of good stuff, right? Why am I making it tough on myself? Enchant weapon. Light weapon. Soul ray. Very interesting. That witch, Yuria is quite a compelling woman. 
She's single. She uses a different type of magic than I. Hers is powered by emotion. A lesser type of miracle. I wonder if it is related to her gender. <laughs> I still have much to learn. Love it. Do you have a connection to the disciples? Do not pay attention to them if they speak poorly of me and my magic. Prayer is for the foolish, quaint, and soon to be dead. And heaven forbid the day you find out what their so-called God really is. You ever wonder what he means by that? I was defeated and captured by the Golden Elder beyond that dungeon. Golden Elder. Beware of him, for he manipulates souls. He has power over dark souls. Those susceptible to madness and paranoia. Dark souls. Anyone catch that? You actually have the name of Dark Souls uttered in Demon Souls. A lot of people miss that. But speaking of that old monk, um, he manipulates Dark Souls, those that lend to madness and paranoia. So there's another um, teaser, like throwing chum in the water. Like, hey, you know what? Maybe a lot of what Demon Souls talks about, uh, obviously you have a lot of repeated themes, but maybe there's a, uh, a narrative that runs from one adventure, one game, over to the other. Maybe the way they describe the Dark Souls in this game is what Dark Souls is in the actual Dark Souls game. Yeah, just some thoughts. I know of three human leaders who became demons. Uh-huh. King Alant of Boletaria. One. Astraya of the Valley of Defilement. Two. And the Golden Elder of Latria. They have proven three. that humans can evolve to a higher state. We were wrong to assume that only demons could do demon work. That's not how evolution works. Evolution does not scale upwards. Perhaps unimportant for this game. He has power over dark souls. Those susceptible to madness and paranoia. Love it. Okay. I am fully prepared. Please fetch more demon souls. I can still be patient, my fine magician friend. Okay, buddy. Yuria, you have anything to say about that? Are you certain you wish to let it would are you sure? Do you know Yurt, the silent chief? Ooh. He dons pitch black armor and a helmet with two sharp spikes. Mm. Yurt's presence in Boletaria has resulted in the death of many a great hero. Whatever his motives may be, he is a grave danger to us all. Do watch out for him. I cannot bear to think of harm coming to you. You're too nice. You are too nice. If the demon is cursed, Frakes. Okay, that that's old. I owe my life. If you're, it is a dark. It's a terrible thing that you owe your life to me because I'm gonna do the Mephistopheles quest and get up in that ass. And I don't mean that sexually. You saved Sage Freight, did you not? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then I was right to bend the rules and teach you a few tricks. You are such Nevertheless, a I'm grateful to you. Do you see how important selfless acts are in this dreary world? Dude. What is it? Are you still begging for magic lessons? Ah, oh, so be it. Better than having you bother Sage Freight. Sage Frake prefers to work alone. Do not dare to bother him by gabbing about trifling nonsense. He is on the verge of discovering something that will rival even the demon souls. Like Dark Souls? Sorry, couldn't resist. I know, that's a cheap shot, I know. He is on the verge of discovering... Okay. Alright, okay. Okay. Let's do it. Back to Latria.
these last two archstones, Latria and um, the Valley of Defilement. These levels are so uncomfortable and creepy. I mean, it's like they looked into everyone's phobias and said, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna just take everything that makes people uncomfortable and I'm gonna put it all into a level. So, you don't like it dark? Excellent, we're gonna make it very dark. Um, how about gargoyles? Is that scary? Yeah, we're gonna, um, we're gonna give you a whole bunch of gargoyles. What about, um, edges that you can fall off of easily? Yeah? Yep, okay, we're gonna give you that. How about a giant freaking heart, like, straight out of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind? And let's have it beating in the background. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother going there, because... I don't need to go there right now. I can exhaust that part after the heart drops. I know I can get the rune set over there, but I've already died twice because of stupid things and gravity is not my friend, so I'm not gonna buy. Yes, of course I'm gonna bother. Let's do it. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, didn't die. Good. Oh. Got what I came for. Might as well get this as well. So I spoke too soon. I said I wasn't going to come here, but what I mean is I'm not going to go down there beyond these vases, vases, jugs. What was the idea of putting them anyway, uh, putting them there anyway, like what, it, what do they symbolize or signify, like why are they there? You could have had anything lay around. Why is everybody like, I'm just going to have these big jugs. Come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. You know what I need to do? I need to parry these guys. I need to parry these guys. I've never parried one of these guys. Okay, that didn't work. Come here. No, that didn't work. I know. Come on, I know I can parry. Come on. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me... I don't know if it's possible to parry you, but I'm definitely gonna try. I'm starting to think that maybe you can't parry it. Cause yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can parry these guys. I think that's enough failed attempts to conclude that you can't parry them. Be really cool if you could, though. Oh, come on, man. You're not even fighting enemies. What 
think there's something on this side here. Come here. Oh, just stop. Stone. Stone of a stone of ephemeral eyes you'll better recognize I almost fell off the ledge <laughs> that would have sucked that would have been a big suck alright let's get through this stuff quickly it's not really any great items that I need for this run me fighting the one of those gargoyles. Okay. There we go. Drop the lotus. Nice. Frame skips, did you see that? That's right. If you think Dark Souls brought you frame skips, Demon Souls did it first. This is where we meet Yurt. Ah, a shard of archstone. I forgot about that one. Are you here to fight the demons? If so, then help me escape this place. I am on. I am on your side. Yes, yes, yes. Come on out. Now. Um, if I keep him around for too long, he's going to start killing NPCs. And that may, I don't know for certain, that may affect the Mephil Mephistopheles quest. I might not get the colorless demon soul. I think I can get two colorless demon souls from the Mephistopheles quest, but only if homeboy here doesn't kill anybody first. So I have to... Well, let's see. Hmm? Well, what have we here? Do you wish to die so soon? Dude. Come on, man. Why you? Bye-bye. Hmm. Now here's a good question. Where is it? Oh! <laughs> um, yeah. I think that's just a bit out of my reach. Let's see what happens if we load the profile again. Let's see what happens. Maybe I'll get lucky in that. Um, that soul of his appears back up top where it's supposed to be. If not, I think I have to defeat the level, then go back, if anything. I, I would have to come back. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Gloom set, baby. Then I voluntarily close myself in his entrapment. Demon souls on the bayou. Shit is so nasty here. Yo, 
on some ugly motherfuckers. Um, can I get that? Where is that? I cannot see a damn thing, especially with these new ring lights I'm using. Huh. Oh, guys, thanks. Thanks, but like, eh. Does anybody even use the use these all guides? Speaking of which, um, prism stones or whatever they're called, right? All guides of guidance. They were there first. Okay, moving on. I cannot see a damn thing, man. what you want. Oh, I've never had them actually do that attack on me. Mercury stone, I'll take it. Okay, so they take four hits. good to have here. What do I have with me? Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that. Two dark moon grass. Okay, yeah, why not? See how much damage the um, Black Phantom. Ooh. Oh, I just ran right into that. Oh, that's solid. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Yikes. Okay, okay, now there's a problem. I better get out of here before he hits me again. just how strong those guys are. Those guys are pretty damn strong. Well, if I was working with a... You know, if I was working with a better weapon... There's only so much you can do with a dagger, after all. I mean, I love it. I think it's a great weapon, but... Or, I should say, I'd be able to do more if it wasn't just the Vitality run, because I could actually level up my Strength and Agility. Hello, uh, excuse me, sir. Can you, uh, can you leave my nightmares, please? Oh, hi. Forgot about you. Moonstone? Moonlight Stone. I forget. Moonlight Stone. Alright, let's go quickly. Let's just go right through all of them. 
Nya. Well, it did cost me my lift, but I guess I can wait another hour before it comes back down again. And so we wait. Ah, okay. This lift is different. It it pauses less. It, it, it has no pause, actually. No, it doesn't give you any time to get on it. You have to get on it the moment it arrives because it'll start going back up. And if you're lazy about uh, getting on it, if you don't do it immediately, it will go right past you and it'll fall down into the pit. That's happened to me before. One down. Two down. Three down. Four down. That's it, just four. I mean, this entire thing is absolutely hideous. And it's, it's like the grossest thing you can even come up with, but it really, really reminds me of the the ancient warrior they were trying to revive in um, Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. If you've never seen that movie, I highly uh, recommend it. It's one of Miyazaki's best. Okay, and that should do it. So, both sides completed. Big heart baby dropped. Now we can go down there and pick up one of the most important pieces in the entire game the golden mask because the golden mask can be traded with sparkly for a colorless demon soul oh hey how you doing didn't even see you there anyone else how'd you even get here you can you only could have crawled out of... No, I guess you can crawl up walls, huh? They don't actually show you doing that, but... There's no reason why you wouldn't be able to. You are a bug, after all. Here, sir, have some arrows in the face. Mr. Gargoyle, you too. Oh, it sucks that it has to take five arrows, even though it's maxed out. Shards of Mercury Stone. Nice.
Couldn't run anywhere, could ya? I outsmarted ya, didn't I? You are very ugly. Dear God, man. There's one more right here, right? Yep, chunk of moonlight stone. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now, should I bother? Great way to die. Anybody roll off here? <laughs> I've done it before. Voila! Okay. Mercury stone in the house. Hooray! Gold mask. That's what we were looking for. Ring of Avarice, also awesome. You better recognize the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. More Mercury Stone. Yes. Look at this thing. It's like a synapse. Uh, like the node in a neuron. The imagination that went into this is truly twisted. I love it. Now, shall we play it safe? Probably not. Why play it safe when you can, um... When you can be really stupid and just try to run right past this one, right? Okay. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, this one means the black phantom on the stairs, which is by far one of the most cherished, loved, and protected characters in all of game history. I could try fighting him on the stairs. I could try to um, um, kill him from afar using the bows. Or I could just run right past him. Why not? We can try that too, right? Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was close. That was ridiculously close. That, yeah, that, that was dumb. That was dumb. You know what they say, though? It's not stupid if it works. Now, speaking of things that are stupid, you might think that having 7 million health points, like I do, and having regeneration on top of that, that there really isn't much to be afraid of, right? And you'd be only half right. Because what these bastards do is they knock you off the ledge. And if they do that, it doesn't matter how much health you have. That's an instant death. So, am I going to cheese these guys? Well, let's see. 
Let's see how many points I get. That says 10, by the way. 10 points. 13. I managed to get 13 out of that. Yep. Okay. How about here? 13. Okay, so that's the highest I can get. So, now it says 10 again. 10 or 13. Okay, how about right there? So 10 arrows is 130. 100 arrows is 1300. They probably have like 2,500 each. I could probably expend 200 arrows into them and, and possibly kill them. And that would be incredibly painful for anybody watching. So I am going to not do that. I am going to instead see what we can do about taking them on the old-fashioned way. Okay, okay, don't do that again, though. Oh, good. Good. So far, so good. Really? How, how fucking fair is that? How fair is that? Did you see that? Well, what the hell happens now? His snake tail bit him while he while he dropped off. Um I have no idea what that means. I don't think I've ever had that happen. I mean that's a that's like a glitch, right? Uh Okay. okay. All right, well, we'll just wait for him to reappear. Hopefully he reappears. Where's the other dude? I cannot see a damn thing. Ah, oh, these fucking ring lights. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. Okay, buddy, I need you to land. Okay, come on. Hmm. flying away. Dude, the second one didn't... The second one didn't appear. The second one is gone, man. I don't know where the heck he is. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do. 
if the other one doesn't appear. Okay, I've got a serious problem on my hands, and it's not these guys. guy is just plain and the other guy is just I mean what do I do I just glitched the game I mean if I could at least see where he is You know where he is? He's probably... This is probably like a bridge. And he's probably under the bridge. He's probably flying in a corner under the bridge somewhere. And so, in this case, what the heck are you supposed to do? You can't do anything. Wow, okay, I'm a little befuddled. Do I kill myself? I mean, in the game, right? Do I just... Oh, you meant like in real life. No. Yes, kill yourself. Just kill yourself. Um... What in the fig do I do? Has this ever happened to anyone? Maybe if I walk in certain places and he'll he'll aggro. Wait, it's not a look at that. It's not a bridge. It's not a bridge. There is no underneath for him to hide. So he's just freaking gone. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, um, I think I'm gonna have to use, this sucks, man. I'm gonna have to use a, um, Shard of Archstone. At least I have one, right? And, um, and, and, and try to beat him again, I guess. God, this sucks. That sucked. Do I at least have, like, maybe... Two still read, four still read... That's all. Let me use the souls up. Maybe I can buy something with them. Hello again. I'm keeping... Moon short sword, rune sword, stiletto, happy rapier, 
I'm going to keep the catalyst. Get rid of the rune shield. Oh, that's right. I got the gloom. All the gloom stuff. And I have the gold mask. So... Okay, hold on. Got my lotuses. Get rid of my spice. Don't need the spice. Get rid of three of these stones of ephemeral eyes. I'm not using the throwing knives. Okay, that should do it. You have a heart. Ah, uh, let me not use up any of that stuff yet. Let me go talk to uh, Sparkly, Snuggly. get that third Carlos demon soul so I have adjudicator shield plus three maybe for new game plus I'll do a regeneration build so we will have a plus five adjudicator shield and we'll have a the regeneration spell from St. Urbane. Yeah, buddy. You have much to gain. Oh, I'm sure I do. How you doing, buddy? I am Satsuki. Are you? I seek a keepsake of my father. Have you seen the sword inscribed? Makoto. I will offer you demon souls if you can help me find it. He's such a random character here. The Makoto chooses its owner, but he who harbors self-delusions should at once be warned. The Makoto is no sword for the faint of heart. So, um, as I was saying, regeneration, right? Maybe the next build with all this health will be a regen build? Or... I will expand it to be about regeneration. So we'll have a faith weapon. Maybe I'll turn the... Uh, you can't turn this dagger into faith. You'll have to... Uh, so I'll get some kind of a faith weapon. Put that to plus 10. Or, no, sorry, plus 5. Um, uh, those types of uh, upgrades only go up to plus 5. So I'll have the full regen of a plus 5 faith weapon plus five adjudicator shield regenerator ring and on top of that use the regeneration spell at that point especially with this much health you're you're absolutely unstoppable the makoto chooses but he who harbors self dilute the makoto is not yeah yeah i gotcha okay so that's a repeat all right let's go say hi to snuggly Better at that, getting better at that. Two in a row. Excellent. Ah, uh, you know what? I, I just can't resist. I gotta go after this guy. These guys, I just have to. Wasn't it? 
That wasn't it either. Oh my god. How much does that suck? Alright, let's try it again. There we go. <laughs> ah. It's good to have 14 million health points. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Sparkly. For those curious, Sparkly, you never do get to see him, her, it. People think that she's one of the birds. And maybe she is, but you never see her. And you can kill the other birds, the birds that are flying around. If you get lucky and you strike them, you can kill them. And they do drop weapons like arrows, I think. It's not easy at all to, uh, to connect, but it does happen. Might have to do a quick bit of that separately. Eh, we just kill this guy. Such easy points, right? Nothing? Nothing, honey. you up. This is what it's about. Right here. Gold mask. Sparkly, happy. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Adjudicator, Shield, plus five, and Regeneration Ring. That's a, that's a uh, serious combination right there. Hmm, well I wonder if I have anything else to give her at the moment. Does a Royal Lotus do anything? Does a Widow's Lotus do anything? No. That's a no. Does a Dark Moon Grass do anything? No. Nope. Ed's Grindstone? I forgot. No. Nope. Sticky White Stuff? That's a good question. Let me see if I drop the sticky white stuff. No. Nope. So I think that's it, right? Shard of Archstone? No. Nope. Okay, so she's not liking anything. You picking up what I'm putting down? And the answer, ooh, soul remains. Me have that. Oh, okay, okay, I already gave her that. Excellent memory. One stone of ephemeral eyes. I think I tried that. No. So, will she take a catalyst? That's not twinkly. Yeah, so I think that's it. going. But not there. I 
think I need like 22,000 or something before I can go up a level. It might be time. It might be time to use some of those demon souls that Stockpile Thomas is holding for me. I haven't used any of them. What am I doing? First things first, this. This is the whole purpose why I did the uh, entire segue. Uh, the entire aside, excuse me. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Judicator shield plus three. Pat out. Yep. Okay. Wait, what? The wooden catalyst can be upgraded to the insanity catalyst with the yellow demon soul. What does that do? I need s ah, yeah. Catalyst wrapped in golden cloth. Yep. From the old monk causes insanity in the wielder and drastically increases the strength of spells, but halves the wielder's maximum MP. If you have no dreams for the future, you may want to place your trust in the power of the golden guard. Eh. Very interesting. Can't believe that I'm gonna have to do the man eater twice because of a glitch. Ice cream. Well done. It is what it is. At least it's not too difficult getting to him. I don't think you can parry any of the bosses. So if I can't parry the flying gargoyles, I'm not parrying the man-eater. I'm not trying to parry the man-eater, that's just silly. That's crazy talk. We're not doing that. then. Uh, did we forget how close we came to falling off the ledge? Are we going to play it crazy again? Took you a while. Okay, well. Um, sure, why not? Hey, if it gets the job done, why not, right? But check this out. He didn't... He 
he didn't die, did he? Did I get souls for him? Because I don't think I got any souls for him. He's still walking around somewhere down there. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe I got souls for him. I don't know. It didn't seem to me like um, I got any souls, but I'll I'll check in the uh, in the replay. Now to get myself ready. There we go. Alright, buddy. You knock me off the ledge, I'm gonna cry, so don't do it. That sucks. That sucks badly. Oh, no, no, no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. Oh, too close. That was ridiculously close. Okay. Looks like this fight's going to get a little... What? I'm sorry, what? I am so dying in this fight. nowhere near good, but what you gonna do? <laughs> well, you wanted a real fight, now you got it. Okay, okay, scared. the edge. Come on. Unreal. Yo, this shit's unreal. Oh, don't 
don't die. Where are you? No. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. You're the one I want. Where are you? You're the one I want. Okay, we wanted a real fight. Oh, it's just one dude. The other one's stuck over there somewhere. Look at that dude, he's just stuck walking into the wall. It's, it's a freaking glitch fest, but okay, right now I'm not complaining. Please don't disappear on me again. Don't disappear on me again. There you are. Yes. Okay. One down. Now, I don't know what's up with Homeboy over there. But I'm about to pay him a visit. Okay, this once again became doable. Let me not glitch it. Are you stuck in the wall or something? What's up with you? Fly away? Come back. Okay, that sucked. Okay, getting closer. Step by step, right? Um, uh, here. Oh my goodness. Don't knock me off. Come on, that would be hilarious, wouldn't it? I know I'm getting knocked off. I mean, knocked down every time he does that. But I actually rather have him knock me backwards. Well, not like that, just with the thrust, than to um, have me roll because I'm afraid that I'll roll right off the edge in panic. Bye, bye, Miss American Pie. There we go. What freaking stress was that? That was unnecessary. That was not necessary. Oh my god. And isn't it interesting that this guy... See, right after or right before every Archdemon you have either a legendary hero or a legendary soldier. And in this case, you have two enemies as the boss, which were the man-eater. And this guy right here is the only one who drops two different souls. I wonder what that's supposed to mean, right? Um, wait, I know that there's some lore where the old monk transformed this dude into two separate demons. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how you get that, like, where you get that info from in the lore, but I guess it's plausible. I can think of all sorts of other things. 
You can think of multiple personalities and schizophrenia, and shit like that, playing a role, or like the duality of man, uh, of man, or who knows what. Anyway, I'm not stopping. I'm not even going back to the Nexus. I'm taking this boy on right away. I'm going to parry the hell out of him or die trying. Imagine if he kills me. Imagine how terrible I am with this much, this much regeneration, this many full, uh, full crescent grass, uh, full grass. Imagine if he kills me. That would be hilarious. I, if this episode ends abrupt, abruptly, it's because I rage quit. Tell me that guy doesn't look familiar. All my Dark Souls fans, right? So we'll actually be playing the um, the system-based enemy because I'm not online in any way. Okay, 19 full moon grass. Only one sticky white stuff. I used 11 of them? Ay, ay, ay. Let's do it. Let's get through this. Let's get through this entire arch stone. shouldn't be that hard to hit. Finally. Uh, it's great having a lot of health points, but when you only have a dagger and you can't parry. You can't parry those dudes. You just gotta... Right in the face. Ooh, did you see that? Now that is serious. One shot. I mean, pure white. One shot of those. And it took off almost half of my health. It's like... Look at that. That's like... That's like 600 points. In one hit. It's incredible. Alright, let's do it the hard way. Oh, hello there, Mr. Uh... There we go. Okay, let's do this one formally, shall we? Let's give it a nice, formal... Bow. Let's go. Yay! 
yes sir. Let's also do a backstab while I'm at it. There we go. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bleeding. I didn't know he could do that. Not good. Not good. I wanna... I wanna parry him, but I feel like I'm... with fire here. I am so bad at getting this timing right. I really thought I had him there. What am I doing wrong with the timing this time? There we go. Okay. Finally. <sighs> okay. That was... Two. Two parries and a backstab. I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna go out fully like a little bitch, but... Okay, I went out like a little bitch a little bit there. I wasn't gonna... I wasn't gonna risk him killing me for that last... Last parry, so... Well... It's an experience. Yellow Demon Soul. Okay, let's get out of here. That all turned out to be a lot more trouble than it should have been. Okay. I've not seen you. A <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. You have anything new? Patches? Let's Did talk. Did you ever visit Valley of Defiance? Ah. The bog there is filled with the corpses of honorable knights, too foolish to stay out of harm's way. Yup. Well, you may have heard of some of them. Uh, Vito the Moonlight Knight, Rizea of Isterel, and uh, uh, many, many more. <laughs> I reckon they left behind some fine armor and weapons. Why not have a visit? See what you can find. You're so thoughtful, Patches. I reckon they... Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. So we took care of some business. Thank you, I was what? Okay. Yellow Demon Soul. If only I could assist it. I think I think I've exhausted his yeah, dialogue. What about you, big guy? Where the Damn it. You know what? You know what I think I messed up in? I think he has more dialogue. But you have to first rescue him. And then go back to the Nexus and talk to him there. That's where you unlock additional dialogue from Bjor. Are you certain you wish to it would are you sure? If the demon is cursed, Frake's power okay, that's I am all. my life if you are it is That's all repeats. 
better than having you bought. He is on the verge of the. I see. Okay, okay, okay. You have your wits about you. We were wrong to assume that only. Okay, nothing new I there. I am fully prepared. I can. You know what? Maybe because I've killed. Maybe because I killed the Silent Chief. Maybe now the Monumental. Oh. Maybe now the Monumental will talk to me. Offer me that friend ring, or whatever it's called. I have never gotten that item. I'm only guessing that the item is still available. Maybe the item simply isn't given now that it's no longer online play. Maybe it is given and the ring is useless. Or maybe I have to do something much different and more special to become pure white character. The soul arts shall be lost once the old one is lulled back to slumber. A soul is the essence of thought, which is latent in all living things. Did he say this already? You must never forget. The power that you now enjoy contradicts the essence of the soul, for it stems from demon magic. Hmm. Have you visited the Pantheon at the uppermost floor? This is new. The Pantheon honors those like yourself, who sought the demon souls. Perhaps one day your soul, too, will be honored in that same fashion. That is the most we can do to give you thanks. To give thanks to the brave and honorable warriors who must fight to reverse our sins. Have you visited the, the panther hat that is the to give? I do not know what to do to unlock the friend ring. Might be able to get three more. three more levels of vitality. Lady, where are you, lady? Milady? Milady? Was she up there? Yeah, that's where you're at. Okay. It's gonna take a while. Everybody, just uh, bear with me. It's not my fault I'm so freaking awesome and I get all these souls. Three for sure, it'd be even awesomer if I got four. But I think I'll be just a hair shy of getting four. Mm. And by hair shy, probably like 6,000. Considering how fast you go up. Uh, how, how much higher each new soul level is. Um, in terms of how many souls you need. One, two, three, yeah, 4,500. Look at that, 1,623. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're simply going to use all the demon souls, because I'm not getting any of the magic or any of the special items anyways, right? So, let's see, dragon demon? Sure. Heart demon? Yep. Yellow demon? 
All of them. Picking all of them. Let's just let's just spend them all and get and get this as high as we can. find out how much each one of these is worth okay so that one wasn't worth anything yellow demon how much are you worth 26,000 yeah 26,400 for the arch demons okay doll demon probably like 4,000 or something right 7,600 decent storm demon okay so that um, that's the storm king so he should be 26,400 as well, right? Oh, 48,000. Very nice. Hero demon. I don't know. You'd be like 12,000, 15,000. 36. I am. I am wholly impressed. Swollen demon. I don't know. No, hold on. I can't do regeneration. Doesn't matter. I'll do it next playthrough. 13,200 for you. Silver Demon. Ooh, that was a lot as well. Forty-four hundred for that. That's nothing. And Lead Demon should be like fifteen hundred or something tiny. Yep. Oh wow. Okay. Look at that. Um, uh, you're not talking to me? Thou there we go. Soul of the mind, Let's get all the way up to 70. Soul the lost 72. From its thine... Did you get what you wanted? I did. What did it cost? Everything. Yeah. Okay, so what do we have left? Well, just the Valley of Defilement and False King Alant himself, right? And we can't get past the dragon in the last stage of Boletaria, past the Penetrator Archstone. We can't kill the dragon, I should say, if we don't have stronger arrows. So we're going to need poison arrows, lots of them. And I just spent all my money, uh, so that was dumb. Um. yeah we're gonna end it here i'm gonna do valley of defilement next uh next session i want to thank everyone for watching and uh yeah this is the uh this is the vitality run demon souls playthrough it was a no death playthrough then it became a one death playthrough then a two death playthrough but so far that's it so hopefully we'll keep it at two as we finish out we only got a couple more sessions i think before we'll close out the uh, entire entire playthrough and um, uh, set peace back to Boletaria. Or maybe go with the other ending. You never know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.